Before food reaches your table, it's produced and handled by farmers, co-ops, manufacturers, distributors, wholesalers, and retailers. Some perfectly edible food is discarded for a variety of business reasons at every step. In the average city, approximately 10% of all solid waste is food. This is an incredible total of 46 billion pounds nationally per year, or just under 200 pounds per person per year. Estimates indicate that only 4 billion pounds of food per year would be required to completely end hunger in America. Clearly, there's an abundance of edible, recoverable food being thrown away. What makes this problem so unjust is that we currently produce enough food to feed every person on Earth. According to the Jewish Community Relations Council in Greater Boston in 2001, 23.3 million Americans needed emergency food assistance. Food Not Bombs originated in Cambridge, Massachusetts in 1980. It was formed by anti-nuclear activists as a group dedicated to non-violent change. Today there are branches in all 50 states and 47 countries around the world. It's an all-volunteer organization without formal leaders that strives to include all members in its decision-making process. The organization recycles food that would otherwise be thrown away into hot vegetarian meals and then serves the vegetarian meals in public places without discrimination. They also serve food at protests and other events and are often the first to provide food and supplies to survivors of natural disasters and terrorist attacks. What's the money? <laughs> <laughs> I think we're going to be doing a stir fry with some peppers, probably some broccoli. Um, maybe some squash. Cauliflower. Soup will probably have broccoli, tomatoes, pepper, onions, and then a salad. Yeah. Pretty much. All right, cool. Yeah. Food Nut Bombs was the only organization serving hot meals following the 89 San Francisco earthquake. The first to serve rescue workers at ground zero after September 11th. One of the first to provide food for survivors of the Boxing Day tsunami and the first of the scene after Hurricane Katrina. Well, trying to have fun right now, so it's not easy. Yeah! <laughs> One of the primary concerns of Food Not Bombs is health. A means of obtaining food is dumpster diving. Supermarkets throw away large amounts of unsold food products, which min many members seek out in dumpsters. Have you, have, have you ever been like chased away from someone's dumpster? I've been detained by the police. Um, I've been chased away by truck drivers and Where's the bike truck away? drivers. I had a truck driver chase me away in Trader Joe's. He showed up. He goes, "You're filthy. Get out! What is the matter with you?" And he made he made us throw the stuff back in there. Seriously? Yeah, he's like, he's like, throw it back in or I'm calling the police. And we're just like, we should have just said, fuck you, pal, and like, yeah. walked away, but I was kind of freaking out. When you were in what did the police do? Oh, they tried to, I was with one other person and they tried to charge us with breaking into a pharmaceutical van to steal Oxycontin. <laughs> um, they, it was, it was the Newton police made up a whole story about somebody breaking into a pharmaceutical van to steal opiates. And they said that we matched the description of the two individuals. Yeah. And we made, I don't know, we weren't going to talk to them first, but then ultimately we were like, well, let's just say what we were really doing. We're like, honestly, like, we're taking this food to, like, feed homeless people who are from food, not bombs. Didn't make much of a difference. They still, they yelled at us. I mean, this was at like 1 in the morning. We were with them till like 3.30 in the morning, like just talking. I mean, they were going to arrest us, and they decided not to. You know, they said shit like, you know what? You go to the Dunkin' Donuts when the Dunkin' Donuts closes, and you, you, you tell them they'll give you bagels. And I was like, great, yeah, that's what homeless people need is more bagels. Unless they don't do that. Like, you go in, and they'll be like, fuck you. Yeah. Did they go? Anyways, that's the last freaking thing people need Like, we're trying to provide healthy food. <laughs> Did you go to that concert? There were a little like. Yeah. Um, who did this terrible chopping job? Oh, was it you? I think you're bad. <laughs> I think you're bad at chopping. <laughs> also, this. This looks like garlic when it should look like an onion. <laughs> so, you only be vegetarian? Uh, only vegan too. I mean, you know, it's like, especially for some of the people out there, a lot of other groups, they'll just like give out bread or turkey sandwiches, something like that. And, um,. 
you know, if they get like some vegetables, some like actual like real food, some nutrients for some of these people, it's you know, it's good quality food. You can just make a really large stir fry. Seems like we've been doing that the past couple weeks. Yeah. 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 So we put the food in the cooler and we're going to take it to Park Street now. Alright, that's it. Is it? Yeah. Wait, actually, this probably shouldn't go between her legs. Well, unless she's going to be coming out with her. Oh, you can do that. We're gonna start doing a second meal. Food Not Bombs used to do meals almost every day of the week. I mean, we just don't have the people power to do that right now, but a lot of the people that do come here have a lot of energy, and, and I'm really happy about it. I mean, I've only been doing it for a couple of years, but like, we're hoping to, to, to expand, to do more, to do more than just one meal a week, to, to do more events. Yeah, we're anti-capitalist, we're... Anti-authoritarian. Anti-authoritarian, I mean, we're taking the waste of capitalism, <laughs> make it into helping those who are disproportionately, yep. you know, affected by capitalism, you know, the poverty, because, I mean, we obviously believe that poverty is a very political issue, not, I don't know. Some people have this misconception that, like, you're poor because you don't work, and, like, you know, they blame poor people for being poor. And it's like everywhere now, it, even in mass media. Thank you very hey, much. There's only six million people now that have nowhere to live. <laughs> oh, so that's it's a lot. lot. They have yeah. no jobs. There's nothing. It's a lot. We're also against like serving shitty food to homeless people. Like we cook like all vegan, like organic when we can. Like we, I mean, it depends. We get farm donations in the summer. We get all organic veggies all summer. I mean, it's a different experience going to a food pantry than going to Food Not Bombs. We're trying to create a meal, not a handout, you know? We do hand out food, but like, you know, it can be very dehumanizing to stand in a line for three hours to get a little grocery bag of, like, pasta and, like, you know, food that you've got to, you know, then go home and cook. Where, like, we try and foster an environment where, like, people mix and mingle and talk to each other, and it's a community meal. It's not so much about, like, you know, here's your allotment of food for the week, and there you go. Like, you can take some of the tomatoes out. I don't like this one. Oh, okay. Yeah, hell yeah. Where you that? Oh, okay. Um, I would love more Emerson folk to come. That'd be great. Y'all are there right down the street. <laughs> so easy. Just come to Park Street. What's, and what's the address again in Jamaica Plain? <laughs> 45 Danforth Street. It's at the Stony Brook Tea Stop. Um, 12, 1 o'clock. We're trying to make it 12, but yeah, we'll but see, 1 o'clock. We have plenty 12. of time. <laughs> we, we were on time today, but. Long-term goal. The activities are only conductive to short-term okay, so Abolish <laughs> capitalism. Abolish capitalism. Okay, but if, if we're talking Emerson. about like a realistic solution that could happen it's in realistic. like the near future. Um, abolish <laughs> capitalism. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, our economy is fucked. I mean, like, it's a perfect, perfect time. time to do this type of shit. I mean, yeah. I mean, besides abolishing capitalism, we could just localize capitalism. I think you know, create local food that is more accessible to people, tear up these lawns. I actually, I want to start an organization called Food Not Lawns, which started in the Pacific yeah, Northwest, where, where, they, where they get money to dig up people's lawns 
and, and create garden spaces. And man, we've got so many, I mean, Boston's a pretty green city. We've got a lot of land to work with for, compared to like New York and Philadelphia and stuff like that. Like shit, let's tear up some people's lawns and like plant like, you know, start a food sustainability project. Like, and like then, you know, get on the, the fucking the restaurants. Every food seller's ass about like making sure all their food gets eaten. Yeah. Um, and that's another big thing is people think that, yeah, only the homeless people are hungry. No, there's plenty of people that have homes that are still hungry because their money goes to rent, and, you know, instead of food.